morning children today we are going to learn about the chapter rocks i will be explaining to you what are rocks minerals and ores i will also be telling you how the different types of rocks are formed the lithosphere is often considered as a rock sphere you all are familiar with this term lithosphere so this lithosphere is also known as a rock sphere the crust has got many different types of rocks rocks are heterogeneous in their composition that is they do not have any definite composition in a strictly geological sense a rock is a mass which is formed of aggregate minerals and they are forming an appreciable part of the earth's crust a rock may contain two or more minerals now what are minerals minerals are naturally occurring solid inorganic substances which have got a definite chemical and physical composition most of the mineral compounds are homogeneous in their composition and they also have mixtures of elements the most common rock which is forming minerals is that of silicates why because the crust has got abundance of silica in the upper layer which forms the soil and in the lower layers also it has got abundance of silica which forms the cyma these elements make up nearly 75% of the earth's crust other important elements which are found on the earth's crust are aluminium iron calcium and sodium so you all are now familiar with the two terms rocks and minerals minerals are also form found in these this lip, uh, layer of the lithosphere because this layer of the lithosphere is also known as the mineral skin so the crust which is the outermost layer of the earth is also known as a mineral skin and so it has got abundance of minerals now these minerals are found in large quantities with several impurities and these rocks which are having the minerals along with the impurities they are known as ores for example iron ore so when we are able to extract minerals from the rock economically then it is known as an ore i hope i have made myself clear now let us move to the next part of the topic today we will also learn about the different types of rocks which are present namely
igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks and metamorphic rocks. Now what are igneous rocks? Igneous rocks refers to rocks which have been formed due to fire. Igneous comes from the Latin word ignis meaning fire. It is also coming from a Sanskrit word which is known as Agni. This igneous rocks actually comes out from the magma which is found in the lower layers of the of the crust. So the magma is found in a molten state in the lower layer of the crust and wherever there is a weakness the magma comes out in the form of a volcanic eruption. Igneous rocks are known as primary rocks because all rocks have been formed due to the sorry all rocks have been formed by this volcanic eruption. Due to volcanic eruption, a large amount of lava comes out and solidifies on the surface. This type of rock is known as extrusive igneous rock. However, some rocks or some molten material is not able to come out on the surface. They begin to solidify below the surface and they are known as intrusive igneous rocks. You can see that all these rocks have solidified below the surface. And so they are either known as plutonic rocks or intrusive igneous rocks. And those which solidify outside the surface, they are known as extrusive igneous rocks. On the screen, you can see a few different types of igneous rocks. Examples of igneous rocks include basalt, diorite, granite, obsidian, pumice, dolerite, gabbro. Because these rocks have been formed due to fire, so they are not having any stratified or any layers. They have cooled down and so you can see several different types of crystals about which we will be talking later. Next we need to learn about sedimentary rocks. Now what are sedimentary rocks? Sedimentary rocks as the name suggests is made up of sediments. Sediments which have been laid down under water by the different forms of erosion. So you can see over here on your screen the a water body due to erosion by wind, rainfall, glaciers, it can be any source. The sediments are being dropped down and deposited as layers. So in this figure, figure number one, you can see these sediments being laid down under the water. As time passes, 
more and more layers of sediments are being laid down. With time, different layers, you can see on your screen, different layers of sediments have been laid down under water. And due to the pressure which is exerted by the overlying layers, the layers become compacted, cemented and ultimately they form sedimentary rocks. So this is the process of the formation of sedimentary rocks. On the screen, you can see different types of sedimentary rocks. And if you look at them closely, you will find that they are all striated. Can you see these striated layers? Which is an indication that all these layers have been laid down one after the other, which ultimately got compacted and they turned into rocks. <clears throat> so we have learnt about igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks. The last one is metamorphic rocks. Now metamorphic comes from the word metamorphosis which means a complete change. Metamorphic rocks are formed due to the pressure and heat which is exerted on a rock. So on, on this in this diagram you can see Below we have the magma, we have a layer of rock and then further more layers of rocks on top. Now this layer is getting exerted by these above layers. It is also getting heated from the magma which is found below. Due to this pressure and heat which is exerted on this layer, the rock which is present over here completely gets changed in its physical and chemical composition and looks very different from what it was earlier. Some metamorphic rocks which you can see on your screen. Now take the example of marble. Previously marble was limestone, the chalk which we normally use in, a, uh, in the classroom. Due to excessive pressure and temperature, the limestone has completely changed into a very hard rock which is marble. Similarly, shale, which is a sedimentary rocks, have rock has changed into slate. Nice was previously granite, which is an igneous rock. So when igneous rock has been put under a lot of pressure and temperature, it has turned into a rock called gneiss. Nice. 
which is far stronger than granite. Conglomerate, which is a sedimentary rock, has transformed itself into quartzite. So, all these rocks were previously either igneous rocks or metamorphic rocks which, sorry, or sedimentary rocks which has changed into metamorphic rocks. That is, it has changed itself completely into a very different type of rock which does not show much resemblance to the rock which they previously were. Today I have done only the introduction of how different types of rocks are formed and how their basic types is formed due to pressure, temperature or any other factor. In the next class, we are going to study in detail about each type of rock and their formation. That is what we have enough for today. Thank you.